Welcome back to the Framingham Beat. I'm Jennifer Tote. Amateur radio, better known as ham radio, might be a hobby, but it's also an important service that brings people electronics and communication together. Ham radio operators are used to talking across town, around the world, or even into space without the internet or cell phones. When Hurricane Maria knocked out power and phone services to Puerto Rico, volunteer ham radio operators sprang into action and saved the island one transmission at a time. Framingham has its own amateur radio association club that participated in field day at the McAuliffe Library this past June. Despite poor weather conditions, they operated a 100-watt battery and QRP stations. The ARRL section manager stopped by, and kids were able to learn to spell their name in Morse code. Valuable skills were learned, and fun was had by all who attended. Field Day is an activity that we have on the third weekend of every June. It's run by the American Radio Relay League. It's a national contest, and the purpose of it is to only operate from battery power or generator power, anything but the power line. Let's say you have a power failure. Everything goes down. You're not going to have cell phones. You're not going to have AC power. The only thing that gets through in those conditions is ham radio. We also have nets on Sunday nights where we continually practice operating battery-operated radio so that we can be ready in case of an emergency. Yeah. Whiskey One, Foxtrot Yankee. We have meetings uh, once a month at the police station training room with an interesting speaker. Everybody's welcome. We give examinations to get your Federal Communications Commission license so that you two become, can become a ham radio operator. Uniform 1 Golf. 